Hi, everybody. I wanted to share just, I guess, kind of a touching story uh, that occurred to me in practice uh, the other day. Um, first of all, you should know I love, absolutely love helping people that have migraine headaches. I have a real heart for it, principally because I think that my approach is so much different than what's what people are given out there. You know, I'm in the Chicagoland area, and we have the Diamond Headache Clinic uh, not too far from us here. And, and many folks go there um, uh, looking for sort of the pinnacle of how can I help my headaches. And the very frustrating thing that I find that most people are told is, you know what, if you have headaches, you're just going to have to learn how to manage them. We're going to have to figure out what pill or what combination of medications is going to help you basically cover up or subdue your symptoms. There's no real talk of, why don't we find the underlying cause and root out the problem? My goodness, you know, people go to doctors and they go, like, please help me, can we fix this? And the bottom line is, is after an MRI, and there's nothing anatomical wrong, we can't find anything in your, in your blood chemistry, you are just a person with migraine headaches. You're absolutely labeled and you are just on a, a course of taking medications in their mind for the rest of your life, whatever works for you. You know, there's something else that disturbs me, and that is I have found more and more teenagers coming to me. We're talking, you know, 14 to around 17-year-olds that, that haven't been in school because of the headaches. Um, I, I had one uh, girl in particular uh, who was 16 years old who hadn't been to school in an entire year. Now, I have a 15-year-old son, and I can't even imagine that as a parent. But in her situation, the headaches were so constant, so severe, they literally set her down and just took her down for the day. Um, she tried all sorts of medications and just was not getting help. And so uh, parents came to me, and you know we worked her up, and we, we figured out what was going on, and we corrected the underlying cause. Now, this girl, imagine this, can't go to school needs to have someone come to the house to help tutor her essentially her social life is is you know non-existent you know you're that age you're thinking you know I, you know I want to have a boyfriend I want to have a girlfriend I want to go out with my friends I want to you know go to the, the the prom whatever that is in your life I just want to enjoy being that age and you know my heart breaks for kids like that because I think that's the time of your life you're never gonna get back what can we do to help you? So we, we ran the test and we began to treat her and slowly we just chipped away at the underlying issues and began to repair the nervous system and the, and the processes that were going on there. We took down the neuroinflammation, we got things working the right way and her headaches went away. And it wasn't that she was dependent on me. Uh, we really got in and worked on fixing that underlying problem. Her headaches went away. She hasn't had a headache. The, the issue is, when we figured out the underlying problem, we were able to resolve that for her, and she was able to be headache-free. So she has, this year, gone back to school and engaged in, in having relationships. She has a boyfriend. This, this girl is living life again. And it, I can't tell you how many children come to me, I can call them kids, that, that literally... Um, say to their mom and dad, is this how it's going to be for the rest of my life? Do I have to live like this? And they can't even fathom that. You know, you, we all know that when, when you're a teenager that, you know, every day seems the, like the rest of your life. But in the, with these kids, literally, they don't know what the future holds. Am I going to get married? Can I go to college? Will I be able to hold down a job? Who's going to take care of me when I'm older? Uh, those are tough questions for a kid to have to consider. So you should know that there is the potential to look for and figure out the underlying causes in places that you haven't looked for. I don't care if you've been to the best clinic in the world and they've said, we don't know what to do, let's figure out what medication works for you. There are doctors out there that have other answers for you. And, and I have seen amazing things happen, uh, not only with kids, but with adults that deal with these chronic migraine headaches. If there was a time in your life that you didn't have it, and now you do, I don't care if there's a family history, we have to figure out what changed. What happened that now you are in the situation where on a daily basis or, or almost thereof, you're, you're, you're dealing with these headaches. Um, it is possible to figure out um, what's going on and to treat it properly. Um, and then, you know, if we can get to the source, it, it's just a wonderful experience. So um, that's my heart. That's that's where I live. It, I tell my patients it is 
not one of my favorite. It is my favorite thing, uh, condition to treat. I just love to see the results that we get for people. I love to see the smiles on the faces. And, uh, you know, I certainly hope that there's that opportunity for you, wherever you're at, to find someone like that for yourself. Now, I, I always end with this, and I really want to point this out. Go online and, and type in functional neurology or brain-based therapy or functional uh, medicine, functional nutrition, something on that level to find somebody in your area. And, uh, and you're sure to, to find someone who's willing to partner up with you and, and fight for you and, and hopefully help you reach your goals. So I wish you the best.